Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's Elite Dangerous live stream. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Paige. How are you? I am all right. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> and if you don't know us, uh, I am Paige. This is Stephen. We are community managers here for Elite Dangerous App Frontier Developments. And we're going to get straight into it because we're going to go bounty hunting today, aren't we? We are. Excellent. So today we're jumping in straight to get some bounty hunting. So I thought I would start off easy. Mm -hmm. And um, I've moved to a new system. Okay. Uh, I'm in the Paraco system. Paraco. And I'm at Neville, Neville Ring. Cool. So what I'll be doing today is first of all, I'm going to go and kill um, Lily James. And next... I think that's a Harry Potter reference. Next, we have, as some of you may know... Wow! A bounty on one of our favourite uh, stream... Guests. Guests. Technically. Guess, technically guests. Alter egos. Um, Little Willie. And if you don't know who... Yeah. If you don't know who Little Willie is, um, go back and watch some of our streams. Mm -hmm. um, and we did a segment with um, Jack, Jack Little. Jack Little and our Muppet, our Muppet, Muppet, Puppet, Muppet, I was like Muppet, Muppet, Puppet. Our Puppet correspondent, Little Willie. Yes. So I came on today and I found that I could actually take him out. Yes. And I'm going to do it. Known terrorist. Well, terrorist Will's as well. Will's away. He's away just now. He's on holiday. Oh yeah, convenient. So he's conveniently away. So if I kill his puppet while he's away, What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do about it? What's he gonna do? He's just gonna sob at the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> just, just, just sit there and cry. Be like, <laughs> ah! I left him for four days. He's dabbing a baguette on his face. Like <laughs> oh, the cheese is so good. <laughs> um, but Don't wine. The wine, cheese. But yes, this is Monday, Monday morning uh, for us. It's not afternoon just yet. No, it is no. afternoon now. Oh, it's now just, just turned afternoon. Oh. Um, so good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for tuning in um, to watch our Let's Play. This will be so much fun. Mm. Ooh. Excellent. Stand right, so yes, we're in Paraco and we're going to go kill some people. Yes. Pretty simply. Yes, and do you know what I quite like about Pareco? There's a lot of these um, stations that are quite close together. Yes. So it has a nice variety and you know, you can hop to each one mm. um, and Ooh. just try out different things. So it's quite well, a nice little loop. It is quite, it is, it's a nice wee loop. Mm. Um, so, oh, was Queen's birthday holiday here today? Oh. Well, happy birthday. Excellent. To happy birthday to the Queen. Happy birthday. Or to Queen or to uh, whichever other entity is called Queen. Mm. See, I think if it was a national holiday here for the Queen. I would be in bed. I would be in bed. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I think that's the best Thanks, thing about Queenie. Thanks, Queenie. Uh, Thank you much. Sinead Rhino, how, uh, Paige, Steve, how's things? I'm quite tired today, actually. I am shattered. I'm actually quite done in. <laughs> I quite, it's been quite a busy week for us. It's been a busy month. Mm -hmm, it's quite, been quite a busy month. I've seen yeah. something in the forums. Uh, the forums. I'll say forums. It's not forums. It's forums. It's my accent. It's uh, forums. Oh, it sounds like you say four arms. Four arms, yeah. Ah. I've been on the four arms. It's actually quite like that. You need four arms to be on it. I know. Going for it. We've been, as, as you know, things have been going on with update and we've been trying to keep everybody on top and yep. questions. And like we said, any questions like that, we are trying to get back to you as soon as we can. We thank you for everyone's feedback mm -hmm. um, as it's going. That's great. Uh, but it's been quite busy. Yes. And then I had a friend come down for the weekend. Mm. Um, one of my best mates that I used to kind of grow up with came down and obviously not seeing him for a while we were out Friday, Saturday just enjoying ourselves when he followed me on Twitter mm. had a lovely wee, he brought me some whiskey ah, so we had a wee glass of whiskey were... a wee dram that was your tipple that was my tickle. Uh, it was a wee dram as you call it tipple tipple oh. not a tickle it was my wee tickle a wee tickle the back of your throat <laughs> uh, my wee dram um, and we, we had that and then had a nice wee time um, but it was one of those ones because it's been the first time in a long time I've done a lot of stuff in a weekend, like mm. go out and then go into town and then come back out. I find myself quite exhausted today. Yes. But not exhausted enough to not bounty. No, you must bounty hunt. The bounty. I'm becoming the hunter of the galaxy. That's all right. My face still hurts. Yeah, something happened to your face this week. Yeah, well, <laughs> Thursday, oh sorry, Wednesday night, mm -hmm. I was still planning for, um, Ooh, apparently we're set to Planet Zoo. Let's we should not be. Well, hold on. I'll um, fix that while I while I work. We were we, we did change it. Um and sometimes Some, you just need to refresh yeah. it, doesn't it? It's just the refresh takes the It's alright, thank you for the notification. How did that Oh it didn't work. Oh it didn't do that. Oh no. I didn't do that, oh well that's okay. We'll but update. I need that. it for the Planet Zoo next as well. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Ah. 
Oh gosh. We're fixing it. It's all right. This is not Planet Zoo. So sorry for anybody who's tuned in for Planet Zoo. But... Um, He's a you... bit of a cheeky man. <laughs> I'm a bit of a cheeky. But the guys from Planet Zoo did have a, a great today stream at the weekend. It was Saturday and Sunday. They were doing yes. some streams. Um, and it went really well, which is awesome because the game looks awesome. But it, it is awesome. Mm -hmm. I've, got, I've got a giraffe plushie on my desk. You have a giraffe, giraffe that plushie now. I totally pinched from a box. No, that, that was a gift. Whoops. It t yes, it was a gift from the... The storage yes. cupboard. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the guys uh, I think have been doing a, yeah. a lot of fun I've been, with that. I've been uh, playing Planet Zoo last week. We don't talk about any other game than Elite here. Right? I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Don't yes. Make, and don't how, make me pull rank. Uh, and how did you? How did you? How did you feel with Planet Zoo? I was having a lot of fun. Uh, I was going through and just like getting loads of different types of. Uh, I got. I'm trying to remember what I got now. Lemurs. I got a bunch of lemurs. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got. Oh, what did I get? A mandrill, that's what he was, and he was just sort of strutting about, and I kept building stuff for him to play with, and he kept walking around it and then just sort of sitting there and scratching himself. <laughs> and I was like, you do you, bud. You yeah. look like you're having a good time. Like, that's fine by me. That's always what I want to do, just yeah. sit down and relax. I think it's the best being an animal, you can just chill, can't you? Yeah, man, if I could be a cat, I would, I would sleep so much. Just, and just be, be evil so all the time. So good. <laughs> Or maybe like a dog. Then everyone likes me, but I can still sleep all the time. I like dogs. Dogs are the best. I know you like dogs. Dogs are so good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've done that. Yeah. So yeah, I had a, uh, so Wednesday I was prepping for the uh, Voices from the Void Discovery yes. Discovery stream, which we had on Thursday, which was awesome. Mm -hmm. Did anybody check that out? If you did, what did you think? I loved it. Despite the tech issues we had at the beginning with our internet deciding not to like us, we had a lot of fun and a really lovely time with uh, Amelia, Jay, and Paula. And uh, yes, Micro Wack is Micro here, Wack. who was Micro Born 99. Unfortunately, Sorry. Stephen has terrible handwriting. It's, it's not that. It's, it's not. Bad. It's not just that I had terrible handwriting. There was like lots and lots of different there was comments. Lots of things, and as we were going out, now I had to pick from two two different places, and I was looking. I was trying to rate it, um, and and obviously, just due to the quick rating and doing it out, I didn't even put the 99 in. That's so fine. We thanks, got Michael there. Wack. We got there eventually. He still he thinks it's funny. Jan thinks it's funny, <laughs> so that's okay. Sorry. Um, so yeah, prepping for that, and then I was like, ah, oh, my tooth on the Wednesday night. I was like, that's a little uncomfortable. And then I went, oh no, I had a temp filling put in that. I completely forgot. And then the temp filling came out, and I was like, oh no. So I booked an emergency appointment for the Thursday morning, being like, I've got a show to do tonight. Like, can we tidy this? And they were like, no, we're going to have to remove it. And I'm like, oh, OK, fine. So like for most of the day, I was prepping the stream. I just had like gauze in my mouth, like, I'm OK. <laughs> you did quite well on the stream, though, because you, you were speaking, it was quite, um, you didn't sound too... No, not too bad. To, oh, you know, like, that's that thing. We were, we were worried. We were yeah, worried. that's all right. I got there. It's okay. fine. Nothing was interrupting with it, but I did that, which was fine. We might have a problem. Oh, no. I have to go and... Uh, oh, no, you've got to do the drive-by again, don't you? Do, do you want to try it? You did it before. You want to try it? Um, last time I tried it, I blew up. No, 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 you did it. No, no, but there was another time oh. that I went and tried it. I was like, ah, that was that's dead easy I to do. There. That's true. Right, yeah. so hopefully we can recreate this wonderful moment that I always <laughs> speak about. So we're going to go to Nelson's laboratory. Okay, where's okay. Nelson's laboratory? Let's go find it. I just noticed that I'm wearing sort of shiny grey and you're wearing matte grey. I am, it's a grey day. It's a grey day. It's been raining so much here. It has been, and it's uh, meant to rain from three till midnight today. It genuinely feels like I'm back in Glasgow, so it's okay for me. Well, welcome home. <laughs> the scanners are out well, right? Yeah, I know it's that. They were out when I jumped in as well. Yeah, I'm, um, off, to, I'm off to Edinburgh in a couple of weeks. Yes, you've got a big holiday planned, haven't mm, you? I do. So I'm going to go. I can't say the name of the band because it's slightly not uh, safe for work. Um, so I'm going to go see a band called NSP. Mm -hmm. um, headed by a, uh, a guy called Dan Avedon, who I absolutely love. He's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and then Brian Wecht, who actually, I found out, bro, Brian um, was a, oh gosh. So he was a he was a professor. I can't remember exactly what he taught. Um, but Darren, one of our developers, was one of his students. Ah. And so when I was talking to him about, I was talking to Darren about this band I love, and he went, oh yeah, yeah, I, I, I used to do homework for him. And he was like, I was just like, you what? That's so what? cool. And I was like, yeah, how dare you write them? Okay, make, make us friends. Um, so yeah, I'm off to go see them and um, Twerp. So that's the Tupperware remix party. Mm -hmm. They are insane. The bassist is 
one of the best that has ever lived. Mm -hmm. He's incredible. Uh, then I'm going to go see the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I love that With movie. my in-laws, so it's my... Uh, my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law, we're, we're going to go see it. I think we're going to dress up, so I have to go shopping. Um, this is awesome. It was, yeah. um, I, so I, I uh, my family kind of grew up on musicals. But before that, there is a question um, from... Ba -da -da -da. When is the ETA? There you go, Jan Roberts. What's the ETA for getting the Mamba skin? I sent the email at the end of the stream. So somebody will get back to you um, as soon as we can. Yes. Um, and we'll sort that out um, yes. at customer service. Yeah. Unfortunately, I was off ill on Friday after the stream, so I wasn't able to get it done last week. But we'll get it done within the next few days, and you'll yeah. have that. So we'll get that sorted for you. Um, but yeah, musicals. So I, yeah. I grew up with musicals with my mum. Mm -hmm. And for my 21st birthday, we went to... There's a place in Glasgow in the West End called... Um, oh, I forgot it. I forgot what it's called. It's, it's a film theatre, but it's uh, the Grovner. The Grovner okay. is called. Um, and I thought we were just going to go and watch the movie. It was been in, um, it was just being rewatched, like you know, mm -hmm. from an old show. But it wasn't. It was actually a live stream from the London performance when they brought it back up. Oh, that's awesome. So it was really nice. Actually, it was a, it was a massive surprise. And that was that was like thirty years ago, wasn't it? I know. I'm not only twenty one. <laughs> I know. I, I look like I've had, as we call it, a rough paper round, don't I? <laughs> um, no, I'm not twenty one. Yeah. I am a wee bit older. Than I think that. you and I are the same age, though. So. Yeah, all right. Yeah. 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 Oh. I look yeah. older. We're we're as old as uh, well. We're we're as old as Frontier. <laughs> oh sure, yeah. I'm a, yeah. Bit, I'm a wee bit older. Tiny bit. Tiny, tiny bit. Older. A few months. Few not months. much. Not much. Yeah. Sure. So I I um I was told that in, like, where I used to live, the lifespan and the life expectancy was fifty years old. So I'm actually excellent. Midway through that it. That does hence, explain the midlife crisis. Hence the look. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hence they're buying a skateboard and this and that, yeah, all that stuff. That definitely makes sense with that, doesn't it? <sighs> so what the plan is right now, now we've said that we did this before. Mate, you're gonna hit a planet, you need to go around. Oh no, it's plate set. No, you need to go around, it's on the other side. I know, okay. Now. You're gonna collide. Is it on the other side? No sense. Uh, Sephron, so currently we're looking at a seven day response time with the customer support team. Um, if you did lose things with the fertilizer rollback, uh, they will be looking into that and seeing what they can do for you. I believe they have already taken some measures. Mm -hmm. But um, unfortunately, yeah, there is a seven day wait time just because of the amount of tickets we got with this September update. Mm -hmm. So we'll be with you as soon as possible. Yeah, there has been, a, we've been talking to the guys about that and we're looking in. Yeah. We're, we are looking into it. We are away. Uh, the, yeah. Why is it so slow? Is there's a lot of uh, everything's going on. We need to look into it. And it obviously, it's a it's a sense truth, sense truth matter of talking. Yeah, we, so we, we're just looking into the best resolution. We can only of that type as fast as we physically can. Well, you have more trouble with typing, don't you? I have more trouble with typing. That's why I'm wearing my supernatural gloves. Is it still on the other side of the planet? If I came in too early? Yeah, yeah. Flip. Yeah. So keep in the blue. Yeah. That'll let you go fast. Flip your ship over. Right now, keep following that up. Keep mm. following the orbit round. You will find that's the way quickest way to get there. But it's still not quick, is it? It's quickest. I know. <laughs> it takes so long to enter a planet. It really doesn't. This doesn't. You mm. are less than 50 seconds away. But I'm really impatient. That's the only problem. Well, you're going to have to be better. <laughs> well, that's that's the um, the plan is, so we've not explained what, we, what I did last time, was I, did, I took a bounty hunt mission. And obviously, because I'm super impatient, I don't read. I don't like to read. <laughs> um, and when I was, so I just go for it. And then I realised that I need an SRV. I never, I never checked that out. And then we we got there to a station and I realised, I was like, I don't have an SRV. I still no. need to get this data. So I was getting shot at, fired at. So instead of attacking, I snuck round really, really low and I drove right and I flew right over. I scanned it and I got out of there, but I almost died. And I feel like this yeah. um, this may happen again. That, uh, I, I didn't do anything. You dipped too low. No, I was still in the blue. Yeah, but your nose was pointed down towards the planet. Let's talk about my nose. Why don't you jump back out? Yes. Back out. Let's get out of here. So yeah, as others are saying, like stay on the zero line and full throttle. Uh, the easiest way I tend to find to do it is like, so if you know it's a curve, mm. keep your nose following the exact equidistance away until you get to the area where you can start dipping down easily. So when the uh, circle becomes full, mm. then you can come down into the planet nice and easily. But yeah, if you've got a circular planet, you want to stay, you know, that nice and smooth all the way around. It's kind of like a roundabout. Equidistance was a good one. Equidistance, yeah. So when should, I, when should I come back down from this jump out? So you need to wait until you've climbed high enough that you're going to be able to get back into the blue. Okay. And uh, keep going that way. So we're just going straight on. I'm just heading straight forward. Yeah, and then you're going to want to flip round, slow down a little bit so Here you can get back. 
yeah, don't drop below 40 kilometers because that is what's going to drop you out. Okay, so stay in this? Yeah, keep an equidistant, keep in the blue, it'll follow you all the way around and then what you can do is start to tilt your nose down a little bit more to get towards the planet. You'll see if any of the red bars come up, you're going way too low because okay. that's going to plow you into a planet or it's going to drop you out into just regular flight. I did that once, I was flying and I didn't see the planet because it was really super dark mm. and, I, and I ended up, I forgot to put on uh, night vision and I just smacked <laughs> into the I'm trying right. to go really slowly. That's fine. I mean, you're still accelerating because of the way you're moving, so you might as well get back into the right place. And plant. Oh, wow. I was really far away, right, wasn't I? Flip. flip. Make it easier. Yeah. So you're going to want to keep in the blue, keep throttled into the blue. Mm -hmm. So that's fine. Now, keep your nose up, and you can sort of see that blue line. Mm -hmm. So, yes, now you need to keep yourself nice and equidistant from that blue line so that you curve it all the way around. This is so bad. Nose up. Like you won't necessarily be able to see it the whole time so then you need to use your little blue bubble there to give you an idea of where you are coming up. Okay. So is this good? Yep, yeah, so you're starting to see it now. So actually what you can do is start uh, keeping down. going down. And yeah, you can fly upside down. Uh, to see better where you're going, right? Your nose is too deep because where that is, so you want to keep that directly in your sights. Okay. Because that is where you are going. Now you can see you're getting really low because you can see it's starting to turn red, mm -hmm. which is good. You no, know, which is fine. At this point, you're okay. You're coming in. You should be able to glide soon. It'll drop you out. So about here. Yep. <laughs> Seems about right to me. Now I normally do. I normally can do this, but it normally takes me a couple of tries. <laughs> Somehow it's one of the things I just practiced a bunch, so I don't tend to have any problems doing. Yeah. Yeah, I think in inverted's good as well. Yeah, I mean you can try inverted if you want to. No, we're going to we're going to stick with what we've got just now. Yeah, I always do it this way. Just I don't know. It just seems to make sense in my mind that I know where the nose of my ship is, so I know where I'm actually going. It's if quick. I did it upside down, I'd probably end up dipping too low. Yeah. So how are we doing? Upside down, based on where the landing gear is. So that should, yep, right, you're gliding. Now just keep on course. Nice. So what we want to do is, I'm assuming this is quite a dark planet. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's turn my innate vision on. Perfect. Should we put some lights on? Nah. Yeah, don't need them. You won't use them at that range properly. So now, now what we're going to do is we're going to try and go in and scan stuff yep. without getting blown up. I'm going to go super low. Yep. You're going to want to put things into systems as well, keep them out of, we uh, keep them out of weapons. Yep. Because if you open fire, you'll get destroyed. So, ZX Specky, how do you handle the power on the Vulture um, expertly? <laughs> it's going to be my answer. Excellent, good answer. Good I, answer. I, I enjoy the Vulture. I don't think it's too... It's probably one of the nicer ships. I flew the Viper Mark IV. Yeah. Um, and I've flown a crate as well, but I still... I still enjoyed flying this a bit more. I think I'm more used to it now in comparison. So Nelson's laboratory. So I'm going to need to scan it. So I'm going to need a... It's not that one. Nope. It's not that one. Nope. Do I have one? Yeah, I mean, there should be one built into the ship, so you just need to lock on to I the... I just need to actually get one. Yeah, date link scanner. That's it. But I need to... I'll make it into this one. Uh, where is it? Date link scanner. Dealing scanner, here we go. There we go. So we need to get close enough. We'll get there eventually. Yeah. As the time goes on. So you did last week you were doing your um you were doing your let's play. Yes. And are you closer to becoming a scavenger? Closer. I think in the last live stream I made about three three million, three, four million. That's good. So not a ton, but a decent little amount. Uh, I wasn't able to play too much last week simply because I ended up having two days off sick and the rest was just lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of work, lots of things to get prepped and sorted. Yeah. So I'll be playing some more this week and hopefully, you know, sort of rounding up to 30, 40 million. Mm-hmm. And uh, seeing how we go from there. I'm getting close. I'm getting close to affording my ship. So I'm going for the Crate Phantom. So you're definitely going for that one? Yeah. Nice. And then I'll largely be playing in open for scavenging. Nice. I, do I don't tend to stay in one place at once, so you probably won't... Well, you will find me if you're looking for me. Otherwise, I'll just pop up in random places. Mostly because I'm just going to end up wherever there's a flight and try to steal everyone's stuff. 
So if you're in a fight, I might just turn up and be like, haha, I'm stealing your things. All right, so what and, I'm... Uh, I'm no, ZX Becky, I'm going with the Crate Mark II. So what I need to do here... Oh, 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 pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I know oh. what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I want to be low. Yeah, it's fine. I was just making sure because I wasn't sure if. Uh... No, no, no. This is so. Ah. This is how. So I'm, I'm, I'm trespassing. So now I need to be nice and low enough to find. I mean, you can get your silent running going. My what? Silent running, because that will make your ship really cold, so scanners can't lock onto you. Ah. So where am over I looking for? Right... What am I looking for? Right. Press triangle. I think it was over there. Oh Ooh. God. Why, oh, why triangle? You're too fast. Why would I do triangle? Okay, whatever lock on is. All right. Okay. <laughs> I was like, Fingers. it's not. It's not triangle. Please don't start shooting me. Yeah, well, of course they're going to shoot you. You've I know, I need, get, I need to get out. Okay, get out, get your... I've got a fine, that's fine. That's all right. We can pay fines off. Right, oh, they, they're not shooting at me, so I'm hoping they don't have any weapons. I'm just going to uh, wait and see what's going on. Yep, there's the weapons. So, sorry, they're not hitting me yet. Just flying in. Nice and low, nice and slow. Right, so if I'm low enough... Right, so look over to the left. Wait, hold on, that's, got, well, that's oh. where the turret is. I need to go behind here to get away from the gun. Well, if you were quicker, you wouldn't have to get away from the gun. See, so this is where I am. He doesn't have an SRB. There's so the, so. This is why we're doing this. It's, so, they, oh yes, he can't really get me, because I'm in behind there. Awesome. So I want to find this and stay as close as I can. Get more points into your systems. That's not going to be their only gun. Okay, um, I need to I need to kind of fly out and see. Right, you could use your contacts to see what you have access to lock onto. Okay. Uh, oh, operations, comms. What is it you meant to be locking on? I have no idea. Cool, try the comms. <laughs> we have no idea. Pro mission target, good. Comms, inactive. Get up to that. And where is it there? It's coming for you, so you're going to have to just do your best. I mean, it can't hit me over here, so that's fine. Yeah, but you can't scan it from over here either, so you're going to have to... Uh... Just go for it. Yeah, go. Scan, 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 scan. Don't die, don't die. Where's that scanning? Point up. There. Stay still. Scan, 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 scan. Go. Leave. Right, you're out. Go. Okay, that's fine. We've got 87. 87 is fine. That's fine. I'll give us some time. Keep boosting. Oh, shit, the crow. And put your weapons away. Oh, yeah, good point. Thank you. Yeah. It's all the things that you don't realise. That's fine. Go away. That's where you have a co-pilot, right. Still got your interdictor out. It's not going away. That's fine, whatever. So that's in. Uh, lock on to wherever you need to go and start jumping. I can do a jump there. Good. We've done it. And 80. Up. That was like... You did it. Much worse. Well, better than the first time. Who needs... Uh, <laughs> I mean, if anyone's watching this who uh, wants to do Bounty Hunter properly, mm -hmm. uh, get an SRB. But if you want to do it the fun way, take a ship. If you want to... <laughs> Just take a ship down, get as close as you can, and try not to blow Scan up. it, and run away again. So we've scanned it now. We now can now find this person. Right, so where is... Okay. She's so in Tor. Where's Tor? Let's go find it. That is a system. Oh my goodness, this is getting farther away. Honestly, this woman is making it difficult to find us. She's, I know. She's good. And I've got a lot of bounty on me now. So I need to go to Tor. Yeah. Tor. Tor it is. Okay, let's find it. And I'm assuming it's not anywhere nearby. Uh, it won't be that far. How do we spell Tor? T-O-O-R. Is it T-O? Well, that's fine. If you go into your transactions, mm -hmm. and then choose the mission, should wrong it? one. Is that one? Oh, a little. Yeah, yeah open the galaxy map. That should lock us onto Tor. Yeah, Tor. Cool. Let's do it. We're doing there it. We are. Although, I'm going to get... There we are. 20 light years. I'm, Done. I'm slightly concerned, though. Why? Because I really want to kill Lil' Willie. <laughs> well, you should have time for both. We should do. Off to Changsha you go. Changsha, let's go. I'm going to dye my hair again. Why are you going to dye your hair? Because this is such a boring colour. Look at this. I think it's nice, isn't it? God, it's boring. It looks like one of those fruit pastel things, isn't it? Oh, that's even worse. It's brilliant. I love fruit pastel. I love fruit pastels, but this is... It's kind of strawberry. It's, mm. it's all right, but... That's nice. I'm naturally blonde. I had like 14 straight years of it. I'm bored of it. Yeah, I can't dye my hair because I've got like none left. <laughs> You could dye your beard. <laughs> right. I actually saw a guy who dyed his beard bright ginger. Um, and he awesome. has like black hair. That's quite cool. Yeah. No, I, I think my dying days are done. I've had this all the different hair colours. Yeah, as Toko so is saying, it's a bit grown up my hair colour and I'm not ready to grow up yet. 
really not. I, I love getting older. I was talking about this the other day. I love getting older. I love being grumpy and don't have a reason for it. It's because I'm tired. Oh, I like being grumpy. I'm sitting I just, back. I don't want to look. I just don't know. I'm bored. No. When we're, when we're uh, zero, how much fuel is in the vulture? I hope enough. That's the only thing I'm going to say about this. I hope enough. Because um, I will probably need to fuel here if I, if, if I can find this. Rapscallion bounty. Yeah. I really feel like I should get the glasses and do like the bounty hunter. Hi Stuart GT. Hi Stuart. Um, and again guys, this is a Monday live stream, um, Let's Play. So we're just here talking away, playing the game together. So if you have uh, any any questions Ooh. or you know any discussions of what you did this weekend, please mm. let us know. We've spoke about our weekends. Um, and yeah, uh, it's just... Have a nice oh mission tech signals. It's a nice and chill one. It's a nice it's and, chilled and chill one. We like to be relaxed on Mondays. Except now we're discussing my hair colour because yes, this is far too adult for me. It's far too grown up. I know. What colour do you want to go? Because green, you just hated. Green was horrendous. Let's not do that ever again. Um, what did you? Unless want? it was like a nice, like a rich emerald that I could think that I think could work. Do you think it's the dye you're using? Mm, maybe. Yeah, but the reason you use that dye is because you can wash it. Yeah, uh, mm. that and it's a, a nice, it's a, so I'm not vegan, but it's a vegan dye that I use sometimes, mm. um, just because obviously it's not tested on animals, it's, uh, it's a really good product that doesn't like dry out really easily, it's affordable, so it's a really good one to use, it's, mm. um, uh, it's, uh, oh gosh, Titian's, I can't remember the names now, oh no, I think it's Titian Snooky. Titian Snooky. Yes. Uh, John Ina. Uh, I think that's how you say that, yeah, no. Um What's on Thursday stream? We will be talking about Thursday stream at the end of this Monday stream. Yeah. Um, but if you want to check out some of the Thursday streams that we, I am not doing flight assist, sorry. So that we I'm will tell you thing. soon. We will tell you soon. But if you want to check out the other Thursday streams, go onto our YouTube. Con Witchman's asking, when are we going to pick a mix of viewer as a winner? So it's not that we don't want to pick a mix of viewer. It's that we stream to Twitch, YouTube and Mixer at the same time. And the winners are picked from the entire pool. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there are a lot more YouTube and Twitch users. So it's not that we're not picking Mixer winners. It's that when we use the software to pull out a winner, mm -hmm. the statistics tend to favor YouTube and Twitch. But we will see if we can do a Mixer only competition at some point and uh, give you guys a... A little bit of an easier chance there. We can see, yeah. Right, I'm concentrating now because I'm, I'm not doing flight assist. I'm sure that I can do it, but I probably shouldn't, shouldn't take it on. But I really want to kill Lil Willie. <laughs> he was really mean to me when he was on set. Oh, I can imagine. He just, he, he basically he was super nice like on stream, but I, like he kind of treated me like his, um, his assistant. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like we were there helping out and he was, but he was making me get him coffee. Like father, like son. Oh, no, Will's good. Will, 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 Will doesn't... Um, doesn't treat me like that way. There's a little of the, <laughs> the mental tor torment, as you would any mentor. But um, but other than that, Will's quite good. Oh, but yeah. Well, Willie just just get me get his coffee. He asked me to like tie his shoelace and everything like that. He acted quite like a diva. Like father, like son. Like father, like son. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, please be here. Oh, am I getting fired at already? Who's that? Is this the target? Is this the target? Lily, kill her. This is... Kill Lily. her. Points into weapons. Go, 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 go. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Go, 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 go. Shoot her. Kill her. Do it. Do it. Don't worry. She won't last long. Not with this beast. Ah, work. Look at that. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. Get the pews in. Pew, 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 pew. pew. Oh, my thermal overload. That's, That's fine. Know. Get some more points into weapons. Yep. And then boost after her. Ah, she's not. Ah, she's right. Ooh. Okay, so ZX says, Paige, if I could, uh, would I... Okay, hold on. If you could, and you would, and the game allowed us to, would I build a base on the moon? And if I could, what would it be? Well, obviously, if that was something that could be allowed, then yes, I would build a base on the moon, and it would probably be ah. a... Ooh. She jumped away. Oh, well, you're going to have to get after her. If we get a... Uh, Do you have a... Um, uh, what one is that? The... Wake scanner. Wake scanner, I you think. You don't have a wake scanner. I thought I did. She's gone. Well, now you can go kill little Willy. Uh, I'll just jump out and jump back in. In case she just comes back, like, ha-ha. She might. 
Um, so yes, I would build a base on the moon if that was something that were available. Uh, and it would be a refuge for cats left behind in the, uh, the Federation War. Um, because in Elite Dangerous Law, uh, the Federation was formed out of what was left of the Americas after there was this huge nuclear war where, you know, China and, like, America and everyone else decimated themselves. But America was mostly okay. You know, most of that survived. So that's why you can't really go down to Earth, because there's nothing left. It's just a nuclear wasteland with very small pockets about. Um, so I'm imagining there's going to be a lot of cats having, you know, bred down there. So I guess I'll go and scoop them up in, like, an anaconda and just bring them to the moon and then they'll have little space booties and little, like, helmets, and they'll bounce around. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to record a cover of the I Love Cats Woman, um, and that'll be the theme tune. That'll be the theme tune. Yeah. So every time you open the doors, it goes like, I love cats. I thought it would be like, would you believe I put a cat on the moon? <laughs> that would also be amazing. That's what I would do. Yeah, we would uh, we would bring those guys back to life and ask them to play a, like a charity gig. Mm -hmm. just, just just for cats, right? This is it. Yeah, big base, loads of cats. Uh, they would have, you know, options for space wear, so they can go out into space. Uh, we would allow people to come and uh, come to the moon, re rescue a cat, and they would take it off on their ships, and their logo would be um, avoid space rats, get a space cat. And you would put a space cat in your ship, and it would deal with any sort of rodents or bugs you might pick up. So. I like it. Yeah. I'm um, not letting her get away this time. Nope, killer. Killer She's this gone time. Now. One, a two, a one, two, three, four. And boom, <sighs> perfect. You are more trouble than you are worth, Lily. 100%. 100%. What we'll do is we'll go get that wee bounty. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. We'll go Pay refuel. <laughs> Pick the fine. And then get after little Willy. And then yeah. we'll go for the main event. I, I Is anybody else excited? I am so excited. I think, though, after a, uh, a char uh, like a charity uh, event, though, at my, my cat moon base, mm. um, we would then open the dog wing and we'd go back to Earth. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, and then we would like just I don't know, put bacon in the back of the anaconda and lure all the dogs in. That's a problem because I'd have already saved all the dogs. Oh well, that's all right then. We can just announce a coalition, and we'll like work together for, to better dog kind. I don't. Um, after um, speaking with some of my fellow colleagues of the dog oh, establishment, dog um, we we don't feel that the cats respect us enough. Oh. Oh, um, so and, cats problems. And, and that um, we believe that they're a bit cruel. All uh, right, then uh, what I'm going to do is with my, with my uh, moon base for cats, we're going to have a, a charity event and maybe an auction. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to open a second wing uh, and we're going to call it the Noah Expedition. And I'm going to take down two anacondas and each anaconda is going to pick up two of every animal, irradiated or not, and then we're going to bring them back and have a breeding plan. For the radiated ones. Yeah, like well, they've made like new breeds and things like that. Talk it's it. been like a thousand years. I was I was thinking this as well. I was like, this question was literally asked what ten minutes ago, and I don't think anybody's asked you this question before. No, but no. it's well thought out. Yeah. And uh, it's definitely going. Well, it's just that's how my life will work, and uh, I have actually thought of opening my own shelter, you know, in real life. So maybe. But yeah, so then we would... You told me that you couldn't get your washing in and it's left out in your garden. You want to look after a bunch of animals. Mate, I'm better looking after animals than I am doing the laundry. That's One's good more point. interesting. That's very um, true. So, and that's fine. Then I'll, I'll, I'll have money and I'll pay somebody else to do my laundry. Yeah. Or just be like, hey, person I've hired, could you take my laundry to the laundrette and then get some like, ice cream while you're out? And then... Uh, there we go. Uh, so yeah, then I'd do the Noah expedition, we'd bring back loads of animals. I would then pay commanders to bring me uh, exploration data. Right. So I'd have a CG, and I'd be like, guys, could you bring me some exploration data, please? I need to locate Earth-like worlds for me to then proliferate these animals. Because like now that I've got you know, a thousand space hamsters, they need a world to live on. So then I will designate planets per animal. Mm. And then I'll be like, actually, the tamarins and the mandarils, they can get they can get together quite nicely. So we'll put them over on planet, you know, C4, and we'll put them over there. I mean, that's, uh, that's really is thought out, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, and now is the time. Will I knit things for the space cats? No, but I will ask others, because I can't knit. Can <laughs> you? 
Um, I can't either. I really, I'm really bad at sewing. That's I fine. just buy new things. I'll buy some imperial indentured slaves, uh, and I'll say, look, like, you need to work for me two years, and that'll pay off your debt. All I need you to do is pet cats and knit. See that? That for me is torture. Yeah. Well. Like petting the cats because like. That's fine, you can be part of the ground crew who goes out and gets the cats for that, me. That's even worse. I know. <laughs> is that the point is, like, I, I, as I said, people love cats, fantastic, going on against you, but just touching a cat scares me because they, be just, they just attack mm. you. So you like, if you were a cat, I have a mission for you. You must pet and look after these cats. That would be a punishment <laughs> for me. That would be like, that would be me constantly in fear. You'll be one of the only imperial slaves I keep. Not an indentured slave. You don't get to buy back your freedom. You are just a cat slave. You belong to the cat people mm, now. I don't want this. Me and my dog. Sorry. Are, me and my dog army would come up and fight you, and they would they would die for me no. because they're dogs. Nah. See, because they're dogs though. I'd be like, come here, come here, and then they'd run to me, and then we'd pet. They would not. Run to they me. would. Play. They would already. They, they would, would already abandon you for bacon and squeezy toys. I would abandon me for bacon and squeezy toys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then you sprint over after the dogs, and I'm like, okay. Paige, did you see the Life, Death and Robots episode that dealt with co uh, caused human extinction and the three robots? No, but that sounds similar to the AI and the Guardians. So. I did, and it was fantastic. Oh, okay. I'll have to I, I really enjoyed um, Life, Death and Robots. It was, was a really oh. interesting. Um, it was a really interesting animation. Like to all these different ones. It was oh. quite good. Uh, so, Minnie has asked, uh, as they're going to be in London this weekend, is there any chance they can come visit Frontier? Unfortunately not, because we don't work weekends, the majority of the team. So we won't actually be here, but have a good time in London. Yeah. And uh, do we watch any Elite streams in our downtime? Uh, yeah, I watch the occasional one in my downtime. Generally, while I'm, I'm working, I have a lot more sort of streams on. But I will tune into a couple of my favourites, you know, while I'm at home, if, uh, if uh, you know, I so fancy. Oh, well, last, last, last Monday I was watching you guys while I was working away. Yeah. Uh, which was quite good. Um, hence why you could see me like you know, shaking his fist. You knew, you knew I was because I was sitting there at the desk shaking my fist. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's fine. We all just sass each other. Whichever one of us isn't on the stream, they get sassed. Yeah. Which is, you know, fair. We're too far away. Uh, there you go. All right. Uh, bacon should be a rare good. Well, no, because what's happened is um, obviously with the Noah project, we realised that there were like two billion pigs. So bacon's pretty common. I love bacon. Bacon's pretty good. I thought bacon in a while, do you know that? It's been quite I a while since I've bacon. I try and I had square sausage this weekend and potato scone back in my belly. I'm good. It was delicious. I'm oh, good. It was so good. Although we made the mistake of eating two type, type sausages. We had normal sausage and we had square sausage, <sighs> and that wasn't a good idea. Too much sausage. Okay, too much sausage. Too much sausage. Fair enough. Although it was steak, it's good. That's all right. When I go to Edinburgh, I'm going to have Iron Brew, and then I'll, Edinburgh has really good sweet shops. Yeah, uh, they've I'm got those like, really special old ones. Yeah. yeah. Um, they also have one of my favourite pubs, which I can't remember the name of, but it's. Um, Oh, it might be in the Conan Doyle or something like that. They have a whole like Sherlock based, um, like theme. like Sherlock Holmes based there's, uh, Conan there, Doyle. There's a I don't know if it's in I don't know if it's in Edinburgh. I think there's one maybe in Birmingham. But okay. there was uh, Peaky Blinders pubs have been popping up. Uh, so you go in and then it's like all Peaky Blinders set up and everything like that. Uh, excellent. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, Command Vulture, potato scone. Potato scone is a Scottish uh, breakfast kind of thing we, put, we have yes. with like a big uh, fry up, as we call it, which is a big breakfast. Oh. And what we do is uh, it's basically potato, um, which has been um, mashed with flour. Mm. And it gets mixed with the flour and then you fry it because that's what we do with everything. And then it's this really nice kind of crispy wee bit of like scone, it's like a wee scone. Ah, it's delicious. Delicious. Fair enough. Uh, Unholy Muppet, FDEP are not based in London. We're not in London. We're not, no. We're in Cambridge. Cambridge, darling. <laughs> it's quite a, quite a change in my lifestyle yes. to move down in such a fine established city. And uh, so, uh, which man? No. So I don't think many of us have guested on Mixer Streams, but we've simply not been invited to guest on Mixer Streams. So I do. It's been, have you? No, I would. No, no, and of no, course, if they're asked, yeah. Like any of us would, I mean, we can't appear on each and every stream or we'd never have time to sleep or mm. breathe or eat or anything. But, you know, we do our best to turn up to certain events and, you know, help out in ways that we can. So if anyone is hosting through Mixer, they can always come and speak to us, mm -hmm. see what we can do. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so... We're here. Okay. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, is this when Lil Willie is? 
this is where we'll find Lauren. Oh, okay, so you're gonna get the nap. So we're gonna then. find out where he is. Let's just scan this beacon. Which was really fun. Um, so obviously we had the live stream with Sophia. Mm. Um, and there was a moment where she came up and she was like going so fast and then she stopped in the navigation beacon and it was like, you know, when it's like far away and then all of yeah, a sudden it's at you. Yeah, in your face. It, it was, she handled it so well. Like, so. <laughs> so where are we going? Hacked. Ah. Oh. Uh-oh, spaghetti Oh, we need to do it again. Yup. Ha. It's worth it though. This is, this one can get deleted. It's worth it to kill Will. Let's delete that one. The uh, Elite it's Dangerous it. sequel to Kill Bill. <laughs> no. And that was a good practice before. So, so yeah, Mukai. Low security. Same system as well, so that's nice and easy. It's not the same place, is it? Yeah, if there's any kind of delicacy in the world, Scottish will attempt to recreate it using potato. We don't try and just, we deep fry things. We don't use potato and everything. But well, we have haggis, neeps and tatties, which does have potato in that's it. That's like, Come on, I went to a sweet shop and some of the sweets had potato in them. Yeah, they do. Sorry, there's a lot it's of potatoes. Because, it's because it was, it was uh, it's the culture, it's what we what we had available to us. Oh, yes. <laughs> potato. Potatoes, We're not Ireland, we didn't miss out potatoes, we had potatoes. Um, so we had potatoes um, yeah. and we used them quite frequently along with all the other stuff that we had. We're a very, we're yep. very resourceful country. And do you know, by the way, most one of the, we, our country has probably the most inventors in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We made loads of stuff, we're super smart. Uh, it's a yep. shame what happened to the rest of us, but like me. Yeah. But um, uh, we have a very intelligent country and that's because yeah. of the, the old potato. <laughs> It's all right, I still do have plans to move to Edinburgh one day. <laughs> What's an almond potato? I is it the shape of an know. almond or does, does it taste like an almond and is it a potato or is it an almond that is the kind of shape of a potato? Yeah, there you go. Um, but yeah. Mm. And you're going to move to Edinburgh? Much. Why do you want to move to Edinburgh? I just, I've been there quite a few times because my in-laws live there mm. and every time I go it does feel like going home. It's just such a beautiful place. Like, I love it, and I do know, you know, the uh, some of the external areas because again, family lives there, so mm. I haven't just been in touristy bits, and it's so beautiful. One of the coolest things I did see the was Conic um, Kill. Kills a place, isn't it? The big hill that you can. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so one of my favourite things that I saw there was uh, a busker, mm -hmm. because I came out, I came away from the Edinburgh City train station, um, opposite like a. The, the mall we have to go down the steps to get to. Mm -hmm. uh, and I heard electric guitar and I thought, oh, Waverly. that's cool. So I stopped for a minute. Yeah, 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 Waverly. So I stopped for a minute and I listened. I was like, that was cool. And then I, I heard another sound and I went, what? And I turned around and it was a duet of bagpipes and electric guitar. And it was the most incredible sound I'd ever heard. <laughs> And like I, I already like bagpipes, but hearing those two together on like a proper rock anthem yeah. was amazing. And I was just like, this is the best thing I have ever heard. And my husband was like, we gotta go. And I was like, no, we do not. We will make time. Mm. I am staying here. That's this what, is amazing. To Toko also says best musicians in Scotland too. We have really good. so the, what more than the new ones? Obviously, Louis Capaldi. And mm -hmm. uh, we've got um, the Fratellis. Mm -hmm. uh, Paolo Nutini. You do, yep. Um, and did you know what was her name? The, uh, she was Scottish as well. Yeah, but a few of those. There was Scottish and she was in um, Fleetwood Mac. Oh! One of the singers is Scottish. Biffy Clyro. Biffy Clyro. Yep. Twin, people like Twin Atlantic, Twin Atlantic. Mm -hmm. um, There's quite a lot. There's quite, quite a lot. lot comes from it, actually. Oh, is that a lot one? of stuff in sort of uh, Scar and I'm trying to think like mid 2000s. Yeah. Who, thinks, who sings Call Me? Call Me! Is it Blondie? Oh, Blondie but, Scottish. Oh, I hate that woman. Blondie Scottish. Mm, nope. She's fantastic. I hate that woman. I and absolutely I hate her. The screen again. <sighs> no, I mm, not a fan of Blondie at all. Call me, I'm alive. You can call me. It's a tune. It's a good tune. Um, uh, Blondie's fantastic. I do need to go up to the big castle in Edinburgh. I've never been there before. Yeah, but the castle. No. So I, I went when I was younger, and unfortunately, with a surname like Benedetti, um, I. I don't have such a strong heritage as others. But if you have a, um, a proper, like if you are the, the gener this first generation mm. uh, Scottish with a, with a surname, you can sign up to this thing in Scotland. Um, and my friend was uh, Riley. Mm. Um, and it got you like free entry to the castle, oh, the wow. different kind of tourist events. It's like a lot of places, like in France, if you live in Paris, you get discounts from 
um, from yeah. Disneyland Paris, um, and because they're Scottish, they get the discount. Yeah. But I can get it. Cause Off to leave for you for discounts. I know. <laughs> also, and where oh, I'm from, proclaimers. Procre oh, how could we forget the proclaimers? We try to. Um, <laughs> run rig. Run rig's another one. Mm. Uh, run rig's another one. Who I'm are releasing to, a movie? Yeah. Well. I'm gonna have to keep looking up because, uh, like. Yeah, it's so many things. There's just so many things I love, and I just love that the very first time I went there, because I, I like travelling, but I do tend to get nervous about new places just because, you know, I've never been there before, and I only, like, generally it's on my own if I'm travelling for work and that mm. kind of thing. Um, so when I've been to, like, Leamington and things like that, I was like, I suddenly feel really uncomfortable, and I don't know why. But the moment I stepped into Edinburgh, I was like, yeah! This is nice. I'm so happy right now. Uh, so the problem that I have is that I am Glaswegian. Yes. Which means we have a kind of... Um, There's a weird rivalry. Uh, we are justified. Yeah. Um, so basically what it is is that there's not a li uh, rivalry. It's more a rivalry. Um, <laughs> it's more of a... Um, I know I'm going to have to just jump right into this because I've came in at a weird angle. Um, it, it's more that, you know, we think we're better because we are. Kind of, no, it's more, um, Edinburgh's a lovely city, it's great. Just for me, it's a bit too touristy. Yeah, it um, is very touristy. And because of, because of, especially because of like the Edinburgh Fringe, the prices are quite extensive. Yes. But we're used to that here. We're used to that. Yeah, you get it a lot, yeah, a lot so here. When I go to Edinburgh, I'm like, wow, it's so much cheaper. And then it's because I'm used to Cambridge. Yeah. I went into Glasgow and I got a pint of tenants and a, a glass of soda water and lime for my mum. And it was um, it was literally £3.90. Jesus Christ. And I nearly cried. Whereas yeah. Here's just, it's a bit more expensive. Yeah. It's like £4.00. That would have been way more expensive than that, to be honest. Yeah, and do you know what? See, see, the thing is, it's not, it's not too bad in the, in the whole short of things. But when you go to Edinburgh, it's a lot more expensive for something that you're kind of used to, mm. and it's at home, and you're kind of like, I've kind of really bothered. Um, but I do, I do quite like going about Edinburgh. Yeah, I, I do want to go to other places as well, which is why I probably would, you know, decide to live in Edinburgh, but then visit all the local areas that I can. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's why I want to be able to drive because I will want to go and visit every wildlife place that I can. And, and there's uh, the Edinburgh Zoo. Yes, which um, I've just spoken to my sister-in-law before I came on the stream and was like, Sarah, Sarah, can we go? And she was like, yes, yes, of course we can. And I'm like, excellent. And I was like, so to my mother-in-law, I was like, Jackie. And she was like, yes. And I was like, excellent. Good. Like, I I'm, went years ago. I'm so happy that I get on with all my in-laws because I'm just like, I want to do this thing. They're like, we'll be right there. And I'm like, excellent. <laughs> We're clear. And to, to be honest, I looked at Edinburgh Cost of Living so much cheaper than where I currently am now to the point that I was like oh my god I could rent two places just and we could have one each husband we could have one each and then I was just like oh, the dream. I don't even care about the prices right now I'm like I just I really just love the city well that's the main thing I think thing. it was nice that I've been a couple of the less touristy times as well you know all the kids were still in school and there wasn't any big events on it was just hey, this is just the city as it lives and breathes. And I was like, there's something so nice here. That's the problem, I would say. Um, oh, they also have really good tea rooms. Can't remember exactly. I, I remember the Operations street. Terminal movie? Uh, no, Data Point. Data Point, that's it. Yeah. Oh, I've had something. Um, oh, that's not good. Yeah, I, I remember. I don't remember exactly where it was, but I do remember the street that we went to and we had to go up these stairs into an old like an old house one of those sort of you know built up into the streets and there was this gorgeous little tea room that we went to hey, where is it beep, 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 where is it oh that's a naval ship that coming after me uh don't know well quickly find come on scan. come on where is it mate look forward it's not here right let's find it oh okay, i've had a tiny a tiny, a tiny wee thing right slow down you are going too fast and you're panicking yep yeah, so I think it's the operations terminal. You got your points and systems, you're okay. That ship is definitely after you. Is it? It may have been on the Royal Mile, yeah. I'll need to double check, because I'll probably want to go back again. But yeah, after we went, I went and bought a bunch of uh, lovely oolong teas and things like that. My husband absolutely loves tea. Really? Well, that's why his name is Cuppa. I thought it was just his name. Nope. I think I could take that? No. Absolutely not. Oh, yeah, it's a Federation Navy ship. Yeah, you don't want to do that because you're going to get into a bigger fight. Right, come on. I right. need to stop. Yeah, you need to find what... It's just not coming up. Operations Terminal, second one. 
Yeah, but that's not the one. Right, now, scan. Mission target, there you go. Is that it? Yeah, scan it. Get close to so. it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Panic, 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 yes. panic, panic. We've right, got it. Go, 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 go. You're Let's go, on. let's you go. Got, you got three vessels, go. Let's go. Come on, get out of mass lock. <laughs> this is worth it for little Willy. I swear, I swear to it. Yeah. For all that abuse, for all that horrible abuse that I got. I need to fly up, don't I? So yeah, gonna go visit all the family, go to see NSP and TWRP, gonna go see Rocky Horror Picture Show in full costume, which is gonna be great. Gonna go to Edinburgh Zoo. What costume are you gonna go for? Um, we're gonna go for a full burlesque outfit. Nice. So. Damn it, Janet, I love you. It's all right, I remember I watched that film when I was <laughs> seven, I think. I rank, oh star, um, I don't have an SRV. Yes, so we had to go for the data link scanner to scan it ourselves before getting blown up. Which kind of reminds me of... Um, I think it's way more fun than taking a selfie. Oh yeah, but it also constantly reminds me of being quite like... Um, uh, what's it called? Um, a quick. I'm going Kalunja. Um, so it's like a f a Firefly. Oh. Reminds me quite being like quite Firefly because they always just like jump into mm. the planets. And the start of... Uh, the movie, Serenity, like, you know, they're, they pick them up when they're getting right, attacked. Go. Okay. You've got nine minutes. Oh. Running out of time, We're boy. doing it and we're going to kill them. All we're right. We're going to kill them. All right. Fair enough. We need to do this. We will. Mm. We will do this. And then we'll screenshot it and tweet it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> little Willy. You should have his own Instagram, shouldn't you? Oh, you should. You should. Does anybody else want that? Just like a, a no, bunch of Little Willy Instagrams. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. We should have an FDev community team disc, <laughs> like a, yeah. a, 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 um, Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> For the random crap. I'll get yeah, Muppets of ourselves. Yeah. Uh, I, I said we should do that. Yeah. Puppets of ourselves. See, that we, we would have got that a lot quicker. We, I didn't think it was going to be this uh, lengthy to um, to actually find. You underestimated Little Willy. <laughs> I have underestimated the power of Little Willy. He's definitely took after his father, hasn't he? Mm. But what we'll do is I'll definitely at least at least kill him before the stream is out. What else were you planning to do if the least thing you can do is kill him? Parade, uh, enjoy, maniacally this, laugh. This is not Roman chariots. You can't just string him up to the back of the ship and... That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna happen one day. If I ever have my way, you got a weird question about the game. If I had my way, I'd be able to get a, a picture of Little Willie in the front of my, in the front of my ship, like I would fly about. This is my meme face where I'm just like, uh oh. <laughs> right, now I need to, okay, let's do it. Come on, where is he? Signal source. Don't tell me I need to go. I'm here, I'm, I'm in the plant. Yeah, Kalanji. Oh, and I need to go scan something now, I bet you. Do you? Kalanji AB, no. No, it's in there. It's far away, isn't it? It's no, not it's not. Let's go. Super cruise. Okay. All right, get there. So, since we only have seven minutes left, uh, oh, maybe you'll actually, because we're quite it. close. We're quite close. We're quite close. Yeah, it's all right. You'll make it, mate. Within the time? Yeah, you've got time. Within the time. Within the time you've got time. Do. We can do this. Check your messages and that while you're waiting. Yeah, we're getting there. We're, do we're doing okay there. We're okay. Uh, Mask Game is asking, do we plan to correct the priority modules bug? Um, I don't know uh, exactly what's on the list of you know the next things we're looking to fix, but if you have put it on our issue tracker, you'll be able to upvote the most important issues that you feel need fixing quicker. As soon as we have information on the next you know set of bugs that we'll be looking to fix, we will let you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah, anything on the issue tracker, please. That's the best way for yes. the team to kind of find that stuff. And if it's on there, definitely leave a comment on it as mm -hmm. well, because you might say, oh, it's already there, I'll ignore it, but that only tells us that one person has been affected. Mm -hmm. Whereas it was really handy to know, you know, from a comment or from a, an upvote if you have one of those to go mm. to sort of, you know, know who is affected by these things. Yeah, so hopefully as well with uh, these issues that do come up, uh, if we do ever have any updates, please know that we tell you as soon as we can. Yes. Um, no matter what happens, obviously there's a different process and cycle of how things can get like, rolled out and different scenarios and figuring out what we can do. Yeah. Um, but as soon as we ever find out any information, we will yeah. get it to you as soon as we can. Uh, Mini, uh, I'm, I'm afraid we don't tend to do many studio visits. Because it's actually is... really boring. <laughs> um, shush. Um, but I will pass that along. We'll see if there's, you know, something we can do in the doing in the future. 
Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, we won't be able to host a visit this week. I'm afraid. No. Um, sometimes, obviously, there's set like visits, but that's when we have stuff that's yeah. on as well. Because yeah. it's quite funny. You always think about it, and like you're like, oh, um, developer life's dead. Interesting, cool. We set at computers like most people most biscuits. days. The biscuits we stand up. Sometimes with standy discs, oh, which, yeah. is nice, <sighs> which is totally different. But other than that, it's, sometimes it's it gets raucous where you call the customer and like, Jim. Oh, Jim's not there. Okay. Jim's not there. Why is Jim not there? Jim was supposed to be there today. And he goes, oh, Jim's gone. Yeah. Oh, he's like, oh, no, Jim's gone downstairs for tea. Sorry. Jim's got a meeting in another room. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. that, was, that was the exciting part of my day. What time is Sally's party? Nobody knows, because Sally is coordinating these things. <laughs> Which means nobody knows. And I hope she's listening to this, because we never know. Try and make plans with Sally, but it doesn't happen. You wait till Sally makes the plans, and then you just invite yourself. Yeah. Pretty much. She just calls me a chancer. That's fine. Or shouts, I've already got, or shouts at me politely, which was um, complimentary. Plan, complimentary. Yeah, complimentary. Yeah. I've already got plans to visit her, you know, whenever oh, she's yeah. settled. So. Yeah, and th always make sure, like I even told her when she was going across, she needs to get a swimming pool or I'm not coming over. Like, pff, Jesus. I'm not going to go over to Tenerife and enjoy myself. <laughs> Unless there's a swimming pool. Right, so we're, oh, we're getting there. close, we're getting close. Do I need to scan for anything or can I just jump in? Whee! I'm hoping he's here just like... Come on, come on. We've got four minutes left and I'll need to absolutely just rinse them. Okay, so based on what I was asked earlier, so you know, I would have my, my, my base uh, for cats and you would rescue dogs. Mm -hmm. In the chat, tell us what animal would you want to rescue from Earth to, you know, sort of, you know, create a breeding program for or just to rescue whatever is there and, you know, rescue from Earth. Anything and you can't pick point. cats or dogs because we've already picked those. Ah, sorry. Uh, it's Litany. It's Litany? No. I got dogs. Um, and Red, Vulture pandas. P. Red pandas yeah. are good. Vulture P, uh, no goodbye from Sally on the stream uh, because she's still at work today, so she is still still got a lot to do. But if you check out her Twitter, she'll be posting plenty throughout the day. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure she has her own following enough to, to basically have it for us. Ah. So we're almost there. I'm really excited to, to do this. Oh, I'm wearing these gloves and I can't type. They're supposed to help you type. <sighs> no, they're supposed to warm up my hands so I don't get arthritis pains. I think that's in the Federal Navy ship. Please, can this be Little Willy? Uh, cows, donkeys, snakes, Is this Little Willy? It's Little Willy and he's going to die. <coughs> oh no, and I'm going to put the right weapons on. Yeah, weapons, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mere cats need to save the two for one cinema deal. <laughs> <laughs> it's simple. Come on, he better not fly away. I need him to be gone. What time are we at? We we're at? have got three minutes. Right, this is it, guy. This is it. Shields are off. 50, 47, 40, do it, do it, do 30, it. 20, 25, 60, and. Yay! Now, I believe if we have somebody's face, we can rub it. It's like easy money, cash money. Easy money. So, uh, like you said, oh. I think we, uh, oh. I think we definitely <sighs> gave you a hard run. Do you agree? Suck it. Um, it's okay. You tried your best, but um, I am just so much better. Boom! Yeet. Easy money, cash money, bro. And uh, shall we dab on him? No, not dabbing. No, we're not dabbing. Well dabs. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's it. We got it. We got um, We got the infamous Little Willy. We destroyed him, taught him, a le ta taught him a lesson. We did. We destroyed him. We blew him up. And, um, you know, we got a good bounty out yeah. of it. We're continuing it on. Um, and I think, I think that's... Well... Give us one minute, see if you can start heading back towards Pareko. I will try and go to the bit just now. While I try and just arrange something. What I would, what I would say first of all but is... There we go. Uh, please let Will know that we have yeeted Little Willy. Yeah, make sure that if you if you have him on social media... Yes, you um, tell him. Tell him, message him, say that... You have left the materials behind, do you not want those? No, that's, that's for but you. But mate, you said you're going to be doing engineering. And if there's, check if there's anything extra rare there, because if there is and you're going to leave it there, then you you are ridiculous. I dislike you. <laughs> Let's see what there is. If there's anything rare there, we'll do it. Yeah, because, I mean, like, if they are... Shielding right. sensor? No. Nope. Worm shield emitters? No, so if you go over to your contacts menu... We'll see what there is. 
Uh, right, and you can just click through those to sort of see what you got. Nothing really great, is it? Well, well, he had I mean, nothing click onto them. Yeah, I don't know, no. I don't see anything that you really want there. Nah. No, Mini, there's nothing that he wants. He's good, he's off. So... You've already got a few shielding sensors anyway, so... So, yeah, so... What's really exciting is that I uh, originally started in a system. Do you remember what system I started in? Uh, you were in... Uh, the new... what, Pareco? I was in Pareco. Oh. And in Pareco, there has a really great kind of setup of... Um, hold on, hold on. Come in. What do you want? Seriously, we are live streaming right yeah, now. The, the, the red thing says Would live you? stream, which means you can't yeah, come in sorry. and interrupt. We are live right now. Could, Could you me. come and explain yourself to everybody, please? Oh, Sally Morgan Moore. <laughs> I'm in, you do not have Now, well, everyone's well been Hello. saying, Sally, we'd love to see Sally before she disappears. And so <laughs> I was sneakily arranging getting a Sally. Hello, uh, duck. Come here. Come here, darling. She sent me a beep boop <laughs> message. A beep boop message. There we go. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi. <laughs> I haven't cried yet. No, she hasn't. There you go, guys. So if you have anything you want to say, hit me fine. If you have anything you want to say, Sally, say it now while she's here. Mm -hmm. You can tweet at her as well. I've been watching your live stream, guys. <laughs> oh, you yeah. have? Yeah, very good. Did you see we killed Lil Willie? Yeah. We did. We I saw you bouncing him. around on a pad as well. It was great. It was really good times. Ah. <laughs> kind of happens every now and again. But there we go. So yeah, everybody wanted to Aww. see Sally and now they've seen her. Well, Sally, anyway. you've worn a white shirt so we can all sign it, yeah? <laughs> love your planet. Love your Yay. planet. <laughs> I love your there naked, we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we will see Thank you, you soon, Sal. Thank You're, you for having me. Thank you for having me. That's alright, actually. <laughs> But yeah, guys, Bye, that was that was lovely, nice week. <laughs> so yeah, we were in Paracore system. <laughs> so we can probably just stay in the main title just now. I mean, we're finishing up now. Why don't you tell them so, all why we were in Paraco? Why we were in Paraco is because the fantastic, the brilliant, the super quick Alec Turner has been helping me recently to create a race stream. So we've been talking about this for a while. Um, as not some of you've known, I've got great suggestions in from different members of the community. Yeah. Thank you again. We're going to keep looking at them. But this will be our first one for the new series called Full Throttle. Ooh. So Will uh, and I will be on a stream with Alec Turner on Thursday to do the race at the Paraco Circuit, yes. which he has set up and he will be putting together on the forums. So if you want any of those details, you head over there and check them mm -hmm. out. Um, as I believe people can get involved, he'll tell you what yep. to do. There's a nice explanation. I don't want to go too much right now. It'll be really exciting. Um, it'll be from Tuesday to Sunday yep. um, and we're going to hopefully have a great time racing. And so, if, you, yeah, if you want to get the scoop, you mm -hmm. can go to Paraco and sort of snoop out the area yeah. first, learn it a little bit. And you can see I was there. I'm going to try and get some practicing in. But um, it will be there um, on, so uh, Alex is going to set up a forum post, so please keep an eye on our forums to see when it comes out. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely message about it when we get it as well. And come and watch us at, I'm going to do it, 7 BST mm -hmm. and 6 UTC mm -hmm. on Thursday for Full Throttle's first stream. Awesome. And Good it'll job. be in the Elite Dangerous Events section. Thanks, Alec. Looking after me. And there is one more question I'd like to address in the chat. You guys have heard of car beds, but has anyone ever made an Elite Dangerous ship bed? Now, the problem with that is a bunch of Elite Dangerous ships are the size of football fields. So, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that. It. That was that. <laughs> well, guys, thank you for tuning in. Like I said, go and uh, have a look at our events today as well. Alec posts that up and you'll get more information. And I'm looking forward to seeing you Thursday to yeah. show off my racing skills because as you can see, they're okay. <laughs> I'm gonna hide. Good, bye! <laughs>